David Lloyd George. Yeah. You must take steps to ensure that this rodent infestation is dealt with. <laughs> I have suggested that we have pensions for our old people. Yeah. Yeah. You must not applaud. The Tories accuse me of taking away the dignity of old age, of depriving men and women of the freedom to be hungry and to be cold. You must realize how dangerous these radical ideas are. We are suggesting that if a man loses a job or falls ill, that he should not be reduced to beggary, but that he should be insured against unemployment. in the House of Commons said that these ideas, and I quote his very words, that these ideas will rot the moral fibre of the nation. <laughs> but I tell you this, we are going to make old age pensions, we are going to make health insurance, we are going to make unemployment insurance the law of the land, and we are going to do that whatever the Tories say, with the help of the next MP for this constituency, Mr. James Grenfell. <laughs> Who's going to pay for it? Oh, don't worry, sir. It won't be just you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll end up in jail. We shall see, sir. We shall see. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Grenfell, uh, I must tell you that when you get to the House of Commons, you'll find it a very strange place. There are members there who believe that because they own the land, they own the people. <laughs> The power that these men have is frightening. Why should they? These men who have inherited their power, who have inherited their money, who have inherited their estates, who have inherited their titles, who have never had to work for anything they own, why should they have this power? Because they're responsible men who know the land. That's why, which is more than to be said to you. It is not the soil of the country, but the soul that we want represented in the House of Commons. Thank God for the House of Lords. Oh, indeed. After all, they do have this house of their own, which they guard as jealously as a pheasant preserve. <laughs> <laughs> well, put a stop to your damn fool ideas. Yeah. I must tell you, sir, that nothing will stop us. Nothing. Not even the House of Lords. The day of the cottage bread man has dawned. <laughs> Isn't that like the Tories? You ask them for bread. Yes, 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 yes. It, it's from the Bible, you see. What man whose son asks for bread will give him a stone? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Stop, stop. Don't do that. They're making bloody fools of you in there. And you have the means in your own hands with your ballots. You can change the face of Britain. This beautiful land which for centuries has been the product of your labor, yes. your skills, yes. and your love. Yes. It need no longer serve only to enrich another. Rubbish. I tell you, this is an historic election. Yes. <laughs> to 
Honourable Parliament. You will have taken part in shaping the destiny of this country for a thousand years to come. His face when they sentenced him. Yes. God made the land for the people. But if you try and poach on God's land, you get sent to prison for five years! 